Hi, Jiro doers, and welcome back. In this video, we'll cover Odoo's AI-powered build digitization and documents management. So here at Bloom, we're receiving so many builds from our vendors, and we want to make sure they all get recorded in Odoo so we don't fall behind. But as a small business owner, I don't have time to manually record each build's information in Odoo. Fortunately, Odoo makes this easy for us with a variety of tools, so let's take a look. So here are some of the bills that I've been receiving, and I'll go ahead and drop them into my scanner and get it started. So thanks to the email alias that I set up in the finance workspace of the Documents app, and configuring my scanner to send everything to that email address automatically, I'm able to easily scan these bills all at once and manage them in Odoo. So once the scanner emails the bills, they're going to arrive here in the workspace. And since I scanned and emailed them all at once, they arrive as one PDF, but I'm going to need to split it up. So we can do that by clicking on it and then clicking onto the scissors icon. And by default, Odoo splits each page into its own document, but if there are any bills that have multiple pages, I can click on the scissors icon to remove that and keep those pages together. We can even remove any unnecessary pages that might have gotten in there by unchecking them. So from here, I can click split, or since we want to create vendor bills from these documents automatically, I can do that right away by clicking on create vendor bills. And note that using AI-powered bill digitization feature does require the in-app credits, but for us, it's really worth it with the time that we save. So we have four bills here, and by clicking into one of them, we can see that the OCR, or Optical Character Recognition, has taken the information from the PDFs and used it to populate the fields here on the vendor bill. So we have things like the vendor, the bill date, the bill reference if there was one, the due date, and of course the lines of the bill. We can also see that we have the PDF attached in the chatter in case we need to reference it. And if there's anything that the OCR missed, we can populate that manually and it will learn that for the next time we have a bill from the same vendor. So this in itself is already great, but all of these bills actually show how the automation feature interacts with other Odoo accounting features. So let's take a look at that, starting with this bill from Apple. Oh, cool. Is that the bill for my new MacBook? Actually, this one's mine. But the good news is that once I confirm it, Odoo's going to automatically create this asset because we have the asset account chosen. So that means less work for you. OK. So the account is obviously not something that appears on the bill. So instead, the algorithm selects the account that's been most frequently used for this vendor with this label. Be sure to check out our video on asset models and automation for more information on how to configure that. For this next bill, it looks like the bill date is before our previous lock date. So the accounting date is automatically postponed so that it's posted in the next period. This one is also interesting because we can see that the OCR filled out the recipient bank field, which is helpful for processing our SEPA payments. Now this next bill is not actually a bill at all, but a vendor credit note. And even though I clicked on create vendor bills, Odoo is able to recognize that this one should be treated differently, which is pretty cool. So I'll go ahead and confirm this one, and we're all set. For this last bill, we can see that Odoo will actually create one line for each tax rate. So even though we have one line for 0% and one for 21%, Odoo can take care of all of that. And that's great, but according to this warning banner, this bill may have already been uploaded. So let's click and see this warning and see if it's the same bill or not. This does look like exactly the same bill, it has all the exact information on it, so someone must have already uploaded this one. Since it isn't confirmed yet, we're just going to delete one of them and then we can confirm the other. So that's how easy it is to upload our vendor bills and automatically create them in Odoo. That's all for this video. This has been your pal Dal. I'll see you in the next one.